Let's talk about some significant things about the scroll. All right. First of all, A, the first significant characteristic is that it has seven seals. Seven seals. That's the first thing. Now, isn't seven one of the numbers all through the Bible that keeps cropping up? And then through the book of Revelation, we'll get into more and more of this. Seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven woes, the seven bowls of wrath, and on the seven spirits of God. The seven seals reveal that the scroll is perfectly and completely sealed. The number seven is the number of completeness. Of completeness. In other words, it's complete at seven. All right, and again, I have a picture for you right there. Let's go to the second thing. The second significant thing is that the scroll is fully sealed until the proper time and the proper person to open the scroll is present. So there's two things that have to happen before that scroll. It has to be the proper time and by the proper person. Nobody else can open that scroll. And as each seal is broken, an event happens on the earth. And how many, how many major events happen? Well, we, we have the seven seals, but in each of those seals, certain things happen. And they do overlap, and we'll look a little bit at that tonight. C, the third significant thing is that the scroll has writing on both sides. Both sides. Now, usually a scroll has writing on one side. All right, with writing on both sides, it pictures a complete message. Now that Again, we talked about, you know, seven is a number of completeness. In other words, there's no more room. Front and back has been completely filled up. And, and so now the story has been written. Therefore, God's complete message is ready to be revealed. Ready to be revealed. 